uh, Reed, hope you're all doing well. And here it is, lads, the Leeds United career mode. It's made a return. I think we're into season five now. It's been one hell of a journey so far. And this season, I'm going to be concentrating on winning the Champions League. It's the last thing that we need to do. We might go for the FA Cup as well because we haven't been able to win that yet. So that's going to be important as well. But if we have a look at the team, we've got an absolutely stacked team going into this season. Felix and Haaland up top. Rodrigo, Almora and Della Vega. Burger King in that CDM position. Davies, Foyth, up at McConnell and James as the back four. Then Nubel in goal. We'll have a look at the second team and Ketia and Bordeaux. Going to be strikers. People are saying, shall we sell in Ketia? I don't actually know. I mean, we could potentially look for a better second striker, but I think he plays well for it and he is decent, but... Doku was mentioned as well, selling Doku, but I think I might keep him as like a super sub, something like that. But we'll definitely go for someone that can replace him on that left-hand side. But Gibbs, White and Kubo there as well, absolutely unreal. Graven Birch in the CDM position, Wagnerman, Tadebo, Badashiel and Hueva as the back four, and then Radu in goal. Now looking at these teams, I think I might go for a new goalkeeper. I think we need to go for someone with a bit of a higher rating, especially if we're going to be winning that Champions League. I think we're sorted pretty much everywhere else, but let's have a little look and see how much money we've got to spend first, though. Look at that, lads. Look at that. Nice little tasty £114 million to spend. I definitely think if we win this preseason tournament as well, and then we'll always get a little budget increase just before the Premier League season starts, we're going to have a canny bit of money to bring in some hell of a players. Some hell of a players, does that make sense? It didn't make sense, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Anyway, though, so looking at some of the lads that I have got on the transfer list. Let's take a little look. So we've got Rashishka on there. He's played all right for it, but I am going to sell him on. We can definitely get someone better than him into the team. Stevens is on there. I've never used him. He's never going to get in the first team. Salisu, I don't think was used at all last season, so he's on there as well. Greenwood, I'm going to be selling him. He hasn't realistically performed how I was expecting, so he's on there. Hall's on there as well. I mean, he is 80 rated overall, but if we're going to go for a new goalkeeper, I think I might sell him and possibly sell Radu. Oh, maybe he's Radu as well, because if we've got... Uh, I can't even remember his name now. Nubel. And then a goal, a decent goalkeeper. I think will be sorted in that department. Watson's on there. Ward's on there. Martin. Hughes. It's just a lot of youth academy players that we're never ever going to use. So that's a look at who we're going to be selling lads. So we'll get through this pre-season tournament. And then look to bring in some new players. We've had a couple of offers in here lads. Look at the first one man. Reese James. 51 million from... Borussia Dortmund, I mean, I'm not going to be selling Reese James. He's got absolutely class potential. I mean, it was mentioned that we should maybe look to bring in the likes of Nuno Tavares, which I might still do, but this lad, he's still going to be remaining in the first team. So, unfortunately, Dortmund, you're not getting him. But we we'll have got some offers in for some lads that we're all looking to sell. Salisu from Schalke, 17.5 million. He's worth apparently up to 22. So, I think I'll push for that 22 million. And then Hall... 13 million. It looks like Mains is pretty much bang on his valuation. So we're accepting that. So hopefully we'll be getting that deal going through. We'll go for this one with Salisu. I'm going to be looking to push them for a little bit more than 17 mil. I mean, like I say, it's just going to be extra money because we never used them. So here it is, lads. The first transfer of this new season. And we've strengthened that back four. It's Ruben Diaz. He was mentioned a good few episodes ago. I hadn't forgotten about him. And I know the likes of Kanati in that were mentioned. But I'm going to save him for the Arsenal career mode. So he hasn't been mentioned in that. And I want to use him. He's got a potential of about 87. He's going to be absolutely unreal for the team. It means that we can maybe sell the likes of Badashiel. Something like that. Get some more money in. But I think... As for a first signing, he's absolutely class, lads. 83000 a week. Come on. Just put Barashiel on the transfer list. And look at that. We've got an offer in already it's from Ajax. They obviously want to strengthen their back four. I think he deserves some first-team football, and he's not going to get it here. So they've offered 16.9. He's only worth up to 17.4. So I'm going to accept that, lads. Get a bit extra money into the transfer budget. So... Let's have a little look and see at goalkeepers that I'm going to be considering as well. Go right back up. Come on. So there was a few mentioned previously. Lafont has been on the radar. But I think it could be Donnarumma that I want to go for. 
He's worth anywhere up between 84 and 160 and would have to get him on the lower end, especially if we want to bring in some more players. But 91 rated, man. 91 rated. It's exactly what we'd need for the team, lads. Exactly what we would need. First game of the episode now, then. It's the International Cup final. So we've made it, which I'm surprised that our invitational, not international, invitational, international would be something totally different. But there you go. There you go. <laughs> it's going to be the first team, lads. Let's see if they've still got any rust from that break in the summer. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. But I think that cup, it'll be coming home. There we go, though. We won on penalties against, uh, was it Villarreal? There you go. There you go. But I am going to be looking to absolutely hammer these. Looks like Keane has went to Napoli. Fair play. I think he wants to go back to Italy in real life. I think his dad was saying something about it's the worst move he's ever done going to Arsenal. Uh, going to Everton. There you go, though. There you go. Let's get into this game, eh? Enough talking. Early attack from Napoli. Oh, my God. What a save from Nubel. It's been all Napoli so far, like. All Napoli. Santimina plays it in. Nubel. Another good save. Xiao Felix. Xiao Felix burst past him. Is he going to make it 1 0? Of course he is. Xiao Felix makes it 1. Come on, son. Keane played it through. What a shot off the bar. Berger King with a block. Fraser. Oh my God, they've equalised. Defending was absolutely diabolical there, like. Berger King played it out to Las Vegas. Las Vegas with a pace. Come on, son. How's he keeping up with them, man? How is he keeping up with them? We all know Las Vegas is super quick. Messi 2.0 though. Oh. Felix. Haaland was tucked down. But Joao Felix has took the risk. Got off the post. Oh my God. Plays it through. Haaland. Come on, Haaland. Taking a risk. Playing it back. Bigger King. Can he get a goal? No, he can't, man. Rodrigo. Messi 2.0. Shao Felix, can he win it forward here? Yeah, come on! 91st minute, nearly the 92nd minute. Shao Felix, surely with a winner there, lads. There it is. There it is. The first cup of the season. Oh, we left it late, like we did leave it late indeed. Poor oh, man. Lozano's absolutely devastated. Oh, there we go, though. There we go. Looks like up over Cardo is going to be lifting it. It's not the most attractive of cups, like. But it's a cup at the end of the day. We'll get a nice little increase in my budget. It's about 10 million, something like that. Joe Felix was definitely the difference. Messi 2.0 with a nice little pass to him, though. Get this in, though. Come on up at Mercado. There it is. Come on. Look at this, lads. Look at this. He's looking good in that Leeds kit. Donnarumma is now part of Leeds United. Oh, it was one hell of a deal. It's probably the biggest deal we've ever done in this career mode. He's going to be on 90,000 a week. But as you can see, he's cost for 80 million. But there's a little bit of something else that's happened. Radu has went the other way. So Radu and 80 million for Donnarumma, though. I think that's absolutely class. It's the goalkeeper that we need if we're going to be winning the Champions League. I'm absolutely buzzing about this deal, lads. Absolutely chuffed. Got this game in the Community Shield now, then. It's against Man City. It's going to give Donnarumma a good chance to show what he's made of. We'll attend the press conference. Get the morale up with the lads. Come on. We'll Donnarumma's arrival from Mar Milan put a real superstar in your hands. Will he get his first minutes against City? Uh. You prove he's the right man. He's only content though, which isn't great for we're there, like. Is Donnarumma the perfect replacement for Hall? Of course, man. He's like, his overall's 11 more than what Hall was. Um, he's what this team needs. There we go, and he's back to being happy. What are your expectations from the clash against City? We'll do all we can to win. We'll do all we can to win. There we go, then let's get into this game and pick up some more silverware. What an episode this is going to be. Oh, he's played it through. Oh, Ruben Diaz. 
Oh, what the hell's going on? What the hell? What was that? Oh, my God. Haaland, come on, son. Come on. Didn't do too much in the last game. But can he in this one? Pick it up. Oh, my God, mate. How are Rodrigo here. Go all the way, son. Rodrigo off the post, man. City, another dangerous attack here. Texiera. Balls in. Get rid of it, Davies. Straight out Bernardo Silva. My God. Oh, De La Vega's picked up on Pogba's mistake there. Come on. Rodrigo. Cutting back in. Still Rodrigo. Still Rodrigo. Plays it back. Come on. Come on, son. João Felix makes it 1 1. What a goal, lads. What a goal. Come on. Let's have a little look at that again. Didn't think Rodrigo would have kept that in there, like, but he did. And João Felix was just waiting. What a volley, lad. Burger King there. James. Come on. Mustn't have been Burger King. Because that was Burger King. Oh, look at this. What a ball from João Felix. And De La Vega is in. Messi 2. Uh, not Messi 2.0. Las Vegas. <laughs> Makes it 2 1. Oh, how can I forget his name when he does stuff like that, man? There we go, lads. There we go. Two games, two cups. Community Shield this time. Oh, shake and Pep's hand. Pep's just wondering how can I get to be as good of a manager as you, mate? <laughs> oh, man. Las Vegas with a winner, though, this time. Up on Meccano. Lifting yet another trophy. He better get used to it, like. He better get used to it. Oh, man. Saying that, I might put uh, Donnarumma as captain, something like that. He is one of the, probably the best rated players in the team. Alongside Joe Felix, but Donnarumma, I think, makes sense. Let us know in the comments, though. Who shall we have as captain for the first team? There it is, though. Taking everything away from us. Lifting the FA, FA Community Shield Day. Here we go. Get the photos. Come on. There it is, lads. Come on. Ho, ho, ho. There we go, lads. Here we go. Rashishka off has come in from Real Madrid. They seem to like buying our players, don't they? 33 million, but he's worth anywhere up to 47.8. So I'm going to be pushing for that close at a 50 mil, 100%. If we sell him, we'll look to bring in a new left mid. I know Erzy was mentioned. He's only a 79 rated, but he looks absolutely light and fast. And I think he's meant to be unreal in game. So if we get this Rashishka deal over the line, I'll be going in for Erzy. I might go in for Erzy anyway. And I have, unfortunately, put Nketiah on the transfer list. I know not everyone's going to be happy about that, but he is an 83 rated. We're all looking to improve the team. And I might go in for, what's his name again? What is his name? There he is, Raphael Leao. I might go in for him. He's worth between 44 and 61 million. If we can get some money for Rashishka, we can go in for Erzy. Maybe he's this lad. And then if we get some money off and get you, I think them deals will 100% go through. So while that deal goes through for Rashishka, we did push them for around 47 and a half million. So nice little bit of money for him, I think. We're going to play this first game in the Premier League against Newcastle. It's going to be the first game in the Premier League, but also the last game of the episode. So, why always Newcastle eh? But there we go. So, we'll attend this press conference. It's going to be the first team again in this one. Hopefully, we can pick up another win. I think we should against Newcastle, to tell you the truth. But does the team have what it takes to win the league? Uh, uh, the title is a requirement. We'll say that. We'll, we might as well be confident. Puig is in good form. We will see more of him today. Uh, rotation's key. I don't know whether it's just sell him. I don't really use him too much. It'll either be him or Iatora and that will sell. Like, So is there a specific strategy that you will propose for the match? Uh, just win. We will replicate what worked. There you go. <laughs> right then, lads. Let's get into this last game and pick up the first three points of this, this new season. Joe Felix has kept a hold of that. Come on. Nice little back heel. Fair enough. Oh, Messi 2.0. Can he get the first goal of the Premier League season? How where, man? Oh, yes. Las Vegas winning that. Ball's through to him. Come on, son. 
Las Vegas, can he be the first goal scorer of the Premier League season? He can! Come on! He's been decent in this episode, like, really decent. Oh, man. Las Vegas, man. Come on, son. Davies has won that. Las Vegas. Shout out Felix. Makes it two. Come on. Puts it back. Rodrigo, long range. Ah, nah. Come on, Almiron. Shot. Save from Donnarumma. Come on, son. Yedlin has got the ball in. Donnarumma's just nearly put the ball into his own net. Oh, my God. What's he doing? Jesus Christ. That's Vegas. Shout Felix. Terrible. Haaland, though. God almighty, that was offside. What a shocking bit of play there, like. There we go, then. First three points on the board. 2 0 win against Newcastle. It should have been a hell of a lot more. I know that much. Wyron C. Rui competition is good. That's all we need to say about that. When compared to Newcastle, Leeds is considered the far stronger side. Uh, never in doubt. It was never in doubt. You were able to close the game before half time. Are you pleased with how things looked? Um, we've deserved the result, but pleased about how it looked? Not really, like. We should have been playing a hell of a lot better than what we did. But cheers, mate. See you later, pal. Well, I'm glad we got the Premier League off to the start that we should, picking up them three points. I had went in for Erzy before that game started. But as you can see, they're wanting £29.3 million for him. I don't personally think he's worth that, not for a 79 rated overall. Let us know in the comments, shall we go for him? We've got £38 million left in the budget as it stands, so I don't know. I honestly don't know. The Rashishka deal hasn't went through just yet, so we'll be waiting on that money. But still, I don't know, lads. It's a lot of money for a player that's 79 rated. I mean, Doku, he's an 80 rated overall. So, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Let us know, like I say, in regards to any other signings that you think we should look to make. And I'll see if we can get that done. If you ask me, though, like I say, 29 mil for Erzy is far too much. But I am going to leave things there. I hope you're glad that the Leeds United career mode is back. So if you did like it, drop a like. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and join the team. But as always, lads, I'll see you in the next one.